two million dollar career overnight. I'm guessing Aiden Ross didn't give him a new boat. This streamer just ruined his two million dollar career before it even started, and you may recognize him as the person TikTok dubbed Lieutenant Dan, the guy who rode out two hurricanes in a small sailboat in Tampa Bay, Florida. A few days ago, I made a video covering the story on how he got this life changing deal where. It better not go over his past, bro. People change, and I think he's moved on from it. Okay? He's a changed man, so they say. And that better not be what ruined his career. Where at the end, I said this. Either way, he's been given a chance to completely turn his life around, so I really hope he doesn't waste it. Well, he blew it. And I mean, uh, people were placing bets as soon as the deal was announced on how quickly he dropped the N-word. And literally... His uh, first stream, within the first hour, he did it. But you, if you want to get back into my good graces, it's, you're going to have to take time. Hey, a lot of work, and it's going to be hard. Because once I cut you off, you're done. Sorry. All right. I guess it's um... Yeah, yeah, like, everyone probably knew this was going to happen. That's what happens when... He was not he was not prepped for this, bro. He was not prepped to, to be a streamer. Yeah. Hey, you're done. What do you even say? So clearly a lot has changed since the last time we covered the situation. It seems like Dan, or Joe, which is his real name, is now hanging out with some manager type who looks like an island boy. My oh, man. God. I trust him with my life. Why? I met him yesterday. But I know him in my heart. I've known him my whole life. Right, he went from nothing to internet famous overnight. Got a bunch of donations and a bunch of followers, and now suddenly, people are coming out of the woodwork, and he's now blindly trusting them. Oh boy, I'm sure that'll go over well. So to oh, keep yeah. things simple, there's about four main people involved now. You have Tampa Terrence, who's the guy who originally found him, Aiden Ross, Lieutenant Dan, or Joe, which is his real name, and somehow, I guess an island boy stunt double has inserted himself into this as well. But Tampa Terrence is I'm the an island found boy. Joe and branded him as Lieutenant Dan. This move is essentially what made him so likable to begin with, as people associated this bizarre sailor to a beloved fictional character. Unfortunately for Joe, though, the more screen time he received, the more people realized he wasn't really the Lieutenant Dan character. With his extensive criminal record being shown and his daughter coming out of the woodwork saying the money coming to Joe will likely be the end of him as he allegedly has some addiction problems. But I thought he was going through and dealing with those while he was away. I thought he, I thought he was like, that was his detox, was living in the boat. Lieutenant Dan was doing just fine without all that money. Y'all, y'all TikTok and famous people and all that. Y'all blowing him up and he's going to be dead before he can even enjoy that boat and stuff. Because look at him. After y'all got a hold of him and now he's high as on all these videos. Is it just weed? Is it just weed? Yes, I'm his daughter. I'm his daughter. And I've had to keep tabs on that man for 10 years trying to make sure that he's alive. And now he's going to get all of this and probably end up dead because of it and it seems like all of this is that is that our fault is that our fault though why do i feel like i'm being accused of doing something wrong people donating to the homeless people right what they do with the money is what they do with the money. Is it our fault that the homeless guy decides to get up and take the $20 I gave him to the liquor store? No, it's not my fault. How How is it our fault? This stuff coming out has caused Terrence to start to distance himself. As soon as Joe gets this kick deal, you have brand new people coming out of nowhere saying this to Joe. Hey, tell it to the day I got a ground for him. I think he's done. Tell it to the day I got a ground for him. I think he's done. He's streaming. We had a ground, guys. Young kick streaming. People love you, though. 
Yikes. A gram sounds like a very low amount if he's giving him the 420. Odds are it's probably something else, unfortunately. Either way, the, the something just doesn't feel right about all these new people surrounding him. Would they be there if he didn't get a bunch of followers, raise a bunch of money, and get a kick deal? I don't know. And it seems like Terrence and Aiden have spotted this. So in my last video, we saw Aiden get Joe and Terrence in a call. And this is where Aiden announced that Joe would be getting a kick deal and a new boat worth up to $100,000. I'm gonna be able to pay for a boat for you. We're gonna get you a nice boat um, in the range of 50 to $100,000. Um, and we're gonna get you a full-time kick deal, which is a live stream uh -huh. deal where you can stream your entire voyages and all your adventures. And since that clip, a bunch of new people started showing up into Joe's life. Terrence allegedly gave Joe about $7,000 and $2,500 separately. That could either be from the GoFundMe money or it could be from Aiden Ross. I'm unsure as of right now, but Terrence decided to distance himself from Joe after Joe made some allegations about him. Joe claims that Terrence logged him out of his TikTok account account when Joe handed him his phone. I don't see why Terrence would ever do that, but sure. Then on top of that, Joe is also claiming that Terrence is keeping the GoFundMe money that's for Joe to himself. Here, as we see, they raised about $46,000, but Terrence made a response to Joe's claims. All right, guys, I just want to get on here to address the Lieutenant Dan GoFundMe situation as I received numerous death threats and thousands of hate messages and threats to my family, friends, and loved ones. So I just want to get on here and address everything as this needs to be settled. When I first saw Joe and met him, his boat was being swept under a bridge and I was walking home from school and I saw this guy who looked like he needed help didn't know his background, didn't know anything about him, so I went up to him, helped him out, and this is how this whole thing started. It wasn't until a week later, after getting to know him, talking to him every day, is when I made the first video calling him Lieutenant Dan before Hurricane Helene came. It was never supposed to be this whole thing, just one funny video that I posted to my TikTok. People then fell in love with Joe after a few interviews and were begging me to make him a GoFundMe, so that is what I did. The GoFundMe was set at $2,500, and all was was to get him a new boat and maybe some money for some food and, and a scooter for transportation. It was never supposed to get to where it is now. Right. Joe has a bank account, but no identification and no way to get in the bank. I mistakenly put the GoFundMe under my friend's name as a way to get the $2,500 out quick and give it to him and be done with it. I have done all the research and have reached out to Tampa police who are willing to help Joe get an ID and expedite this process so he can retrieve the other $35,000 in GoFundMe. I have retrieved all the money that was sent to my friend and I've gotten $7,000 in cash and which will I be giving to him today. The rest of the money will be sent to Dan as soon as he gets his bank account information set. I'm sad to see where this has all gone to and I really hope that this I mean, it can makes all sense. be resolved and we can all just move on with but it. That would be terrible to hand him 40 grand in cash. It makes sense to wait until he sets up a bank and, and all that. Their lives. Okay, that makes more sense because giving a homeless person tens of thousands of dollars in cash sounds like a disaster waiting yeah. to happen. Also, I don't think Terrence is willing to commit fraud by pocketing the money as he seems like a stand-up guy. Why would you want to ruin your life over scamming a homeless man? But the new thing that just happened is Aiden decided giving Joe a kick deal would be a terrible idea and he would rather give it to Terrence as he's helping the community in Tampa. Um, I'm no longer giving Lieutenant Dan a kick deal, uh, but I'm giving the deal to Terrence. Uh, Terrence is going to go around Tampa IRL streaming and he's going to help out homeless people and help out people that are in need. And we're going to give him a budget every day to go IRL stream and give out and bless people. Okay. Uh, we still want to help Lieutenant Dan, known as Joe, by giving him a boat. But we also want to make sure that he's staying sober and does it the right way. So I'm giving Terrence the deal. Terrence will have the deal. Terrence will be doing IRL streams around Tampa, giving out money and blessing people. I will be featuring a couple of his streams. Um, and it's going to be God's work. Um, so I'm proud of Terrence. Him and I had a really good conversation. He's a very clear-minded person, and uh, I really, really, uh, I really do like the guy a lot. So him and I will be working together to help people out as well. Um, and again, we're not giving up on Lieutenant Dan. If he wants to help, we'll help him still. But we're just gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna put the main focus on Terrence having the deal. Um, right, makes that. sense. So if you guys are gonna watch Especially... Terrence's uh, kick streams of him going around blessing people, put him me in the chat. I hope you guys all follow him. I mean, that's sad. It, it makes sense. I mean, giving, bro, it, it's like. It sucks that, like, money will end up, like, ruining people. But, I mean, at the end of the day, it's good that Terrence is getting the deal instead. I think, I think people who are just given a deal overnight, they have no experience of, of being a streamer. And with no experience comes, like, a lot of, like, 
stuff you don't intend on coming out and stuff you don't you don't want to like say and then you end up it ends up public and then it's a live stream fail and all that like you, they, they don't know how to talk to the thousands of people that are coming into their streams right that's why that's why everyone will tell you that if you're starting out you have to you have to have the same energy towards one person in your chat uh, that you would with you know 10,000 people it, it, it's like you that's not something that you learn overnight though for joe that aiden gave him a massive deal then rumors started circling around saying that aiden pulled out of the deal he reassured joe saying no i haven't pulled out of the deal but then later on he pulls out of the deal but i guess this is what aiden thought would be the best move going forward with this yeah. so i guess interesting move but i guess he thinks this is the best move in the situation but now joe wants to sue terrence since everybody knows that the GoFundMe page was for me, and that's, that's common knowledge, I'm getting a lawyer involved. Um, because it came to my attention last night, the way GoFundMe works, is once you set it up, they de people deposit the money into the account, and within three days, the money is deposited into your account. So Terrence has had my money now since you gave it. I never got it. I don't think GoFundMe's that quick. But either way, if you bring lawyers into this, you're going to run through that 40 grand very quickly. Oh, quick. very Terrence quick. Terrence has already stated that once you get an ID and set up a bank account, he will transfer the money. Get the ID and be a little bit patient before you bring lawyers into the mix. Why why are you why do you not want to get an ID? The, why why won't you just get an ID instead of a bank account? Like it just doesn't make sense. Why why not? And then you can pull however much money you want out of it. Terrence is the real bad guy here in my eyes. He's what he did to me. I'm not some some drunk off the street like you portrayed me. Okay? And that'll all come out. Everything will come out in court because if I don't get the money from Terrence, I'm gonna sue him. Um, and any more comments about me, I'm gonna start suing people for defamation of character. Okay, now bruh. I'm a public official, I'm not public. Okay, bruh. Like, this is this is a common case of making the wrong people famous. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? This is this is a simple case of we made the wrong dude famous, like. People, this is the this is the most dangerous part of overnight sensations, dude. This is the most dangerous part. Of, the ego, the ego that is just massed, amassed overnights, bro. It, it's unreal. The dude helped you for no reason, just helped you to help you, and now you're bat. You're like. Stabbing him in the back, bro. Over money? Backstabbing for money? When the dude just genuinely wanted and enjoyed being around you? Treated you like a friend? Bro, un unreal, bro. It's ungrateful people like this that, that you know, somehow attain riches. But, but you know, not that I ever wanted this. So Terrence changed this guy's life. He got Joe yeah. over half a million followers on TikTok, an offer for a hundred thousand dollar boat, and is actively working on getting him his money. But Joe needs an ID first. Get the ID, and you will get your money. Terrence doesn't seem like the type of person to run off with your money. That would be terrible for his brand because he is massive on TikTok as well. Overall, it's right. just an unnecessary headache. But Terrence responded to Joe wanting to sue him. And alive. Well, I don't hate anybody. I don't hate Lieutenant Dan. I wish him all the best. Will I be going over there to talk to him? No, I don't want anything to do with it. But I really wish him all the best. If he wants to sue me, that's great. Yeah, he seems like a genuine dude. This whole situation and reaction doesn't make sense. But now, on top of that, Joe's new friends are now attacking Terrence. So it seems like they might be in Joe's ear. I want to send a special shout out to Tampa Terrence. Congratulations on your deal, man. This is exactly who is this island boy wannabe, bro? Like, uh, exactly what you wanted the entire time. 
I can't say nothing else, bro. Good job, man. Good job. Now back to Lieutenant Dan. Jay, um, what are you doing for him, man? Can we figure out what's going on with that? Because all that stuff that everybody was saying about me, hmm, who was the one working on trying to benefit from it the whole time? You were. Congratulations. You got what you wanted, bro. Bro. Let's get back to Dan, though, because you made it all about you. What do we do? I swear, bro. People better not be watching this guy, bro. What? What does he give? What does he give, bro? With Dan. <laughs> does anybody know? Are you just going to leave him at bay? Like, what was that? Does that no, no one see what's going on here? <sighs> Using a disabled man... Oh my god. Said. I don't see the big issue here, especially for this person. Joe, while associated with Terrence, seemed like a good thing for the brand to get behind. But Joe, with his new friends and the new way of acting, not so much. But then this guy made another video for Aiden. Um, Aiden Ross. <laughs> I seen your video um tonight uh celebrating uh, about how you decided to uh sign Terrence to a kick deal. By the way, congratulations, Terrence. Uh, I don't, I don't, I'm not a streamer, uh, I'm an artist, and- Yeah, you know, think... listen, nobody listens to you, and if you were a streamer, I doubt anyone would watch you, bro. Like, with an attitude like this, it's actually crazy that you would even, like, be wearing jewelry like this, dude. Uh, crazy. This is what you wanted, so congrats. It's just how you went about it that I lose respect for. And Aiden, Who is this guy, bro? Judge Dan and say, we just want to make sure he's off drugs or continues to stay off drugs. Do you know what you're saying? You're literally judging the man without even meeting him yet. That the beat slinger. I've heard all I needed to hear. That man doesn't do rugs. He smokes THC, but you haven't given him a chance to even get to know him. You're going off of another man's word. Just because of another man is telling you something, that doesn't mean it's true. You haven't got to know Lieutenant Dan, JC's. Let's Let's talk about it. I don't see how this video helps the situation. At the end of the day, no deal was signed. Aiden got cold feet and he backed out. People can judge him for that all they want. Yeah. But to my knowledge, Bro. nothing was signed. So he can walk whenever. I guess the exactly. lesson here is uh, don't take anything for granted. And it's also a fitting situation to drop that boomer line. Don't count your chickens before they hatch. But hey, at least he didn't get arrested in Korea like this. Yo, 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 that's next. Dude. That's next, dude. Yo, yo. I trust him with my life. I met him yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, yo, W video. W video. Uh, at least it wasn't for the uh, the past record. He uh, did it to himself, man. Lieutenant Dan, Joe, whatever you want to be called it. You did it to yourself, dude. Crazy. Crazy.